Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well out there. All right. The reason why I'm making this video is because there's something that I would like to share with you, and it's a belief that I have. Yes, this is another one of my videos where I express my beliefs. And, um, let's see. I'm sure that some of you have watched my last video, which was entitled, The Law of Moses, read by King David, The Ten Commandments which I made with my King David puppet. And uh, I think you're aware that one of those commandments says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And then it, it goes on to saying, six days you shall hard labor and do that all that you have to do. And, um, well, I have a belief about that, and um, I like to express it to you. Um, I'm sure that when most of you read that, you think, oh, this has to do with work, you know, household chores and career-wise and all that stuff. But, you know, I think there's something more to that than what we read. I think if there's anything that the whole six days thou, sh thou shalt hard labor and do that all thou hast to do, well, I think, well, when I think about that, it makes me think about one of the seven deadly sins, which is sloth, which is, you know, being slothful. And for those of you who don't know, you know, slothful, idle, it means being lazy. These are like ancient old words that mean lazy, you know. Basically, what God is telling us is that we should not be lazy. We should be active, you know, get involved with communities, you know, volunteer, do something, you know. I think, I think the most important thing that the whole six days you shall hard labor and do all that you have to do, I think what it's trying to tell us is that we should try and do all that we can to reach our full potential because you know every single one of us is called to do something you know some men are called to be presidents of this great country of ours the united states of america some of us are called to be lawyers some of us are called to be supreme court justices some of us are called to be doctors surgeon generals all that stuff but you know something we can never do that until we get up off of our lazy behinds, you know, get up off the couch, get out of bed, and, you know, just stop being so lazy, you know, just, you know, stop spending a majority of your time just watching TV, just flipping through channel after channel after channel, like, oh, what's on, what's on, what's on, what's on, oh, the Bad Girls Club, oh, Teen Mom, oh, Catfish, you know, all those shows, you know, just, I mean, God understands that there are times that we need to rest, and, you know, like, you know, if if we get involved in an injury, if we get injured to where we can't we can't do anything for weeks, you know, where we we literally have to stay in bed for weeks. God understands that, you know, because we all ha we have to rest, we have to recover from our injury. God doesn't want us to work while we're in pain. I mean, that's inhumane, and God is not an inhumane God, you know. So, yes, the whole six days you shall hard labor and do all that you have to do. Yes, it does mean, it does say we are supposed to do our household chores and we are supposed to do our jobs, you know, court reporting, if, if you're a court reporter or, you know, all that stuff, you know, career-wise. But I think it's more about reaching your full potential. You know, God blesses us with great abilities and we need to you know basically what I'm trying to say is that commandment is trying to say that we need to reach our full potential of course the whole commandment is keep the Sabbath day holy you know the day of the Lord you know the day when God rested the day that we usually go to worship whether if we go to synagogue to worship God on Saturday if it's if we're Jewish or go to church on Sunday morning if we're Catholic or Protestant or if we're non-denominational Christians but the whole six days you shall hard labor and do all that you have to do it's basically saying that we 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 must reach our full potential you know don't waste your life just sitting on the couch watching TV or lying in bed taking a nap and going to sleep, you know, spending hours, countless hours of sleep that you probably don't need. Get up and put all 
your talents in use. Put your abilities to the test. Reach your full potential. Work towards that position in your life that God has called you to. And basically, I believe that that's the main point that 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 small little commandment is trying to get at. You know, six days you should hard labor and do all that you have to do. Do all you can. Put all your time, all your energy, and put all your talents and abilities and your energy into reaching your full potential and do what God has called you to do, whatever it may be, whether if it's in the field of government or if it's in the field of law or if it's in the field of engineering or if it's in the field of medicine don't sit around and waste your life get up and do something and reach your full potential my name is Vance Dykes and I hope you enjoyed this video goodbye